The national grid upgrade now amounts to $3.3 billion over five years. The, the broadband project is, amounts to $1.5 billion over 10 years, and our schools and other buildings the government is uh, investing in now amount to $2.7 billion over five years. But it's not all just about spending the money. What's even more important is to upgrade the process by which those decisions are made, because that has to be quality spending. We are borrowing that money. Mr Speaker, we're also embarked on an ambitious programme of cutting red tape and regulation. And, the main, and that picks up work the previous government had talked about and done a bit of. Uh, we are reviewing the Resource Management Act, a couple of current ones of the Food Act, which apply to every food outlet in New Zealand, and the Building Act, uh, where we are moving along to the legislative stage with a sweeping reform to reduce costs and compliance in the building sector. And, Mr Speaker, even with tough budgets, we've also invested quite heavily in better business innovation and an ambitious trade agenda to help particular sectors and to help uh, research and encourage research and development. Overall, Mr Speaker, uh, this is a very balanced uh, but energetic program designed to get this economy up and running after a decade of mismanagement where New Zealand squandered its opportunities, wasted public money, uh, smothered the business environment uh, and <coughs> prevented New Zealand from taking the opportunity of what, in retrospect, looked like one of the more moderate, one of the more encouraging decades this government could have had. And in that respect, I must say, Australia did do a better job of the last 10 years, and that is why closing that gap is going to be such a big challenge. The question is that the motion be agreed to. I call the Honourable Phil Gough.